Our fans have been banned from attending a League Two match between Gillingham and Swindon Town following a row over policing costs. Ken Police say it's essential that enough officers are inside the stadium and insist it's up to Gillingham to foot the bill. The current situation is that there's no agreement or statement of intent in place between Gillingham Football Club and uh, Kent Police. Uh, this has meant that the risk categorisation of each match is being dealt with on an ad hoc basis prior to each match. I've received and looked at the intelligence from uh, Kent Police uh, and I'm satisfied that um, for the safety of the fans, unless adequate police presence is in within the stadium, uh, we cannot uh, allow the um, game to go ahead with, with, uh, with fans uh, in, in situ inside the stadium. It's primarily, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's absolute safety. That's absolutely paramount. Uh, and uh, we will not allow the game to go ahead with fans in there without adequate policing. <laughs> Well, uh, a bit of football news and Swindon Town fans could be banned from attending the club's crucial away match at Gillingham because of a row over policing costs. The Kent club are currently involved in a dispute over the number of officers needed for the match. As a result, the councillor said the game will have to be played behind closed doors. Both clubs say they're hoping the issue will be resolved before the game on April the 21st. Now, fans have been banned from attending a League Two match between Gillingham and Swindon Town. It follows a row over policing costs. Let's go live now and speak to Mike O'Brien of Medway Council. Mike, uh, evening to you. Uh, good to chat again. Uh, tell us then good why the council Simon. have been forced to hand this prohibition notice, which, as things stand, means supporters will not be allowed to attend the game. Yes, of course. It, it, we, we did this reluctantly. This is the second time this season that we've had to do this. Uh, basically, there's uh, no agreement between the police uh, and, and the football club uh, in, in the policing arrangements. Uh, I've been privy to the, um, uh, the intelligence reports that uh, the police have shared with me. I, I've questioned them and I'm satisfied uh, that it's necessary uh, to impose a ban on um, fans entering the club premises uh, without adequate policing inside the stadium. And when you talk about those intelligence reports, what then are they telling you that means at the moment the policing levels uh, that the club are looking for would not be adequate? Uh, this, is, this is termed to be a, t a, a, cat a Category C uh, match, uh, which necessitates a, a higher level of policing than the, uh, that we normally have here in Gillingham. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't expect me to discuss with you the intelligence report. Suffice it to say that I, as Cabinet Member for Community Safety here in uh, Medway, it's my responsibility to ensure that people uh, are able to go into something safe uh, and without adequate policing in the stadium, uh, that isn't the case. So it comes down to costs uh, and at the moment that's what cannot be agreed between the club and the police force and the council. Uh, well, I'm not commenting on that. I, I'm, I'm aiming as a licensing authority to aim purely at uh, safety of the people entering the ground. Uh, the question of cost is a matter between the football club and the Kent Place. Well, what it does mean is that Swindon, who will be visiting on that day, uh, could be sealing the championship, they could be sealing promotion. We'll wait and see what the next uh, few games bring. But is it fair that they could miss out, the home fans could miss out on watching their team as well, uh, over a dispute which effectively has nothing to do with them directly? Simon, a valid question. The fact of the matter is that as a Gillingham supporter, I really do hope that the, the game goes ahead. I hope that the club sees sense and come to arrangements with, Gilli uh, with, the, with Kent Police. Uh, I, I want an exciting match and I want to see Gillingham win. But at the moment in time, we cannot allow uh, uh, fans into the stadium without the appropriate policing for their own safety. If your club, though, hasn't got the money to fund those extra police, uh, that the police are saying they need for a game of this nature, is there no compromise? Is there no other way? It's simply a case of no fans. No, there's, there's no compromise. Uh, we've made our decision, and I'm stating quite bluntly here, that unless adequate policing is in the stadium, uh, that fans will not be allowed into the game. But there is a possibility, Mike, this, this could create another problem, because if you have had a look at some of the Swindon message boards, I don't know if you have or you have it, but some fans are already saying, listen, they're going to go to the game, they might not be able to get into the ground as things stand, but they will be there to try and support their team outside the stadium. Uh, this could create another difficult scenario. Surely you want to avoid this, don't you? 
we hope that the club will avoid this by negotiating with Kent Police. Uh, we have to, uh, as I said before, we've got to uphold the safety standards within the uh, stadium and for that we do need a required level of policing. I, I do sympathise with Swindon fans. I really do hope that this game will go ahead, but it's down simply to the club now. They've got ten days with which to, uh, uh, to, to get their act in order uh, and, and to come to arrangement with Kent Police. What's your hunch on this from what you're hearing in the various negotiations between the club and the police, the club and yourself, and vice versa. Uh, how confident are you a resolution can be reached within the 10 days you've just mentioned? Well, well, we'd, uh, compromise was reached within three days with the Stoke game and we've got 10 days here, so I'm ever the optimist uh, and I hope that uh, the club will see sense uh, and come to arrangement with Kent and Medway, please. OK, Mike, thanks for your time. Thank you, Simon. It could be the game which wins Swindon promotion to League One, but a row over the costs of policing town's away game at Gillingham in Kent means the title clincher could be played in an empty stadium with both sets of supporters banned. The dispute is between Gillingham FC and Kent Police and has left Swindon fans enraged. Well, Scott Ellis has this report from the county ground. The match at Gillingham is just 10 days away and it's a match every Swindon Town supporter would wish to be at because at that game, if not before, De Canio and his merry men could well win the League Two title and promotion. The problem is that Medway Council will not allow fans in from either side unless Gillingham Football Club agrees to pay for extra police. I've been privy to intelligence reports and information uh, for, by the police and I'm satisfied from the information that they've given me and from the questions that I've asked them uh, that um, there's a danger uh, that if we allow the uh, club to go ahead or the game to go ahead with spectators within the ground without adequate policing then there could be a, a safety issue. Well, there is an intense rivalry between Swindon and Gillingham. These are pictures from April 2009 when fans from both sides were ejected from the Priestfield ground after Gillingham won the match and there was trouble in the nearby streets. And that means that the match a week Saturday has been rated as Category C, meaning that there needs to be at least 21 police officers inside the ground and it's the cost of that that's causing the dispute. Well, let's talk to Swindon's chief executive, Nicholas Watkins. Nicholas, you've been talking to Gillingham. What's the news? Well, I've been in contact with Gillingham now for the last 24 hours. In fact, I've only just come off the phone to their chairman, Paul Scally. Paul has got a meeting this afternoon with his local police authority and council members uh, with a view to trying to resolve this situation. And what are some of the options? Well, the options are that um, we would go for an earlier kickoff, most probably one o'clock. That's not unusual in a Category C fixture. We've also suggested to Paul to help his situation that we'd only sell tickets to fans who are on our database, so season ticket holders, supporter group members, etc. And uh, the third thing we've suggested is that uh, we send some of our stewards to help uh, manage the away fans down there. OK, thank you very much indeed for talking to us this afternoon. So some sort of talks going on in Gillingham uh, this afternoon and perhaps an earlier kick-off. Swindon Town supporters might be about to miss out on what could be the club's most important game of the season. They're due to play Gillingham away next Saturday, but at the moment the game is going to be played behind closed doors. It's all because of a row between the Kent club and the police. Swindon supporters are furious and their club has stepped in to broker a resolution. Our sports correspondent Matthias Kurt has the story. Police surrounded Swindon fans before a game against Gillingham in 2008. The rivalry between the two clubs dates back to the 1970s when supporters first clashed. But police and Gillingham can't see eye to eye now about the number and cost of officers needed for the next meeting at Priestfield. In a statement, the Kent Force said, The provision of an appropriate number of police officers in the stadium is essential and the cost must be met by Gillingham FC. To expect Kent Police and the taxpayer to subsidise a commercial event is not acceptable. And while Gillingham declined to comment themselves, the local council stepped in to ban all fans from the ground. It isn't an overreaction. I've looked at the police intelligence and the police reports uh, on the forthcoming match. Um, our, our duty of care to the residents and to people that go into the match is, is one of safety. And I am convinced that the police are right that this is a Category C match and that we should have the necessary policing in place. 
but this game could be the defining moment in Swindon's season, and the supporters are furious. I just think people will go anyway, and I think it will cost them, you know, they will have to police it anyway, and I think it will... I can't see Swindon Town supporters giving up that easy. It's so important for us. Um, as a travelling supporter myself, I would be absolutely devastated if I couldn't get to see that match. Hopefully we can have a, a fairly swift resolution with only, of course, 10 days until the game goes ahead and you know, tickets need to go on sale, fans have got travel plans, so the club are doing everything we can to, to make sure that resolution comes as, as swiftly as possible with working with Gillian. There was a similar fallout involving Swindon's opponents earlier this year, before an FA Cup tie. Then, Gillingham's chairman backed down and agreed to pay the extra costs. But time is rapidly running out, and unless there's another stand down soon, Swindon's players could be lifting a trophy without any supporters behind them to see it. Matthias Kurt in Swindon for the West Country tonight. Yes, don't go away, will you? I know you won't. Swindon Town fans are waiting for news tonight to see if they're still banned from attending the club's potential title clincher in Kent. Now, a row over the costs of policing their away game at Gillingham means at present the match will be played to an empty stadium. Well, Scott Ellis is in Swindon for us tonight. Oh, well, Scott, you're in an empty stadium. You know how it feels like. Yes, imagine the outrage amongst Swindon fans. Their team may have to play a match at Gillingham uh, in a stadium that looks pretty much like uh, the county ground does tonight, completely empty. No ordinary match either, as you say. This is the one in which they could win the title and get promoted, so it would be a great day out for Paolo Di Canio and his team and all the fans. The problem, of course, Gillingham Football Club not willing to pay the full price for the 21 police officers they're told that they will need in the ground to keep it safe. So it's a standoff between Gillingham Football Club and Kent Police. Medway Council are the ultimate arbiters. Well, let's find out what the Swindon fans have been saying today. Swindon Town are on the brink of promotion, fans and manager on an all-time high. Then news late yesterday that silenced the celebrations. Town's away game to Gillingham would go ahead without any fans in the ground. I've been privy to intelligence reports and information uh, for, by the police and I'm satisfied from the information that they've given me and from the questions that I've asked them uh, that um, there's a danger uh, that if we allow the uh, club to go ahead or the game to go ahead with spectators within the ground without adequate policing then there could be a, a safety issue. There is intense rivalry between Swindon and Gillingham. This is the Priestfield ground in April 2009 when Swindon lost 5-0. Fans from both sides were ordered out of the stadium. That ongoing rivalry meant Kent Police classed the game a week Saturday as Category C and so in need of 21 officers inside the ground. Gillingham's refusal to pay up angered Swindon fans at their ground this morning. It's actually, I'm a bit shocked because at the end of the day, if we get our automatic promotion against Gillingham, there's going to be no one there. So it's a bit horrible. Oh, I think it's just Gillingham trying to pull it, you know. They're not going to get away with it, and I think they're going to have to pay the bill. Uh, they're just trying to save a bit of cash. Um, good luck to them, but I can't see them chatting the fans out. This week, senior police officers have demanded football clubs pay even more for match day policing regardless of how far trouble is from a stadium. It's going to mean that football clubs have to meet even more cost uh, in a difficult environment that, that most football clubs are faced with at the moment. Gillingham's reluctance to pay shows how tight cash is for lower league clubs. A typical Category C game would cost £21,000 to police. Well, we've got the very latest for you now. This is from Gillingham Football Club. The chairman can confirm, they say, that he has been in discussions with Kent Police. Talks are ongoing, but the club will have no further comments. So the doors, it seems, remain shut to the fans. And Alda, what do you think? I'm absolutely speechless and <laughs> outraged. And <laughs> well, what are the fans saying to you today? I mean, um, you've been on the, on the social networking sites. They're going. They're going down to Gillingham. You won't stop them. They will go. Um, 
They will go on the pop, as they say, and we all know what happens then. So they may go because they want to be there, yeah. not get into the ground, and then anything could happen. Exactly, and that will result in more football hooliganism. Do you think it should be a Category C game, though? Can you yes, understand that there is that long rivalry? Yes, I do, yes. This should be a Category C, and I would say the police are well within their rights to have um, as many police as there is there to protect the supporters. So Gillingham, just, just, so Gillingham should pay up? Yes, not just our supporters, uh, Gillingham supporters as well. OK, well, you let's know. talk to Kieran Hart just uh, quickly as well. You've been to every home and away game and you're yeah. trying to tick them all off. Yeah. Are you going to get to Gillingham, do you think? Well, hopefully, if they let the fans in. If not, I'm just going to have to listen to it on the radio or something. I'd like to be there because I haven't been to Gillingham before. Very sad for, for you, but, I mean, can you understand that there is the element of troublemakers uh, who aren't, you know, probably the true fans and supporters? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can understand the wishes of the police to have all the police they need there because, um, obviously, the could, trouble could kick off and they need to protect the public and both sets of supporters, really. And what do you think about Gillingham not paying up? I mean, everyone's going to lose out, aren't they, financially? Well, yeah, they're going to lose a lot more money than they would have to probably pay up for the police and they'd win a lot more. And this is really important then, isn't it? Because it, uh, it could be the one where you win the title and promotion. It could well be, yes. Um, you know, we could have could actually be in promotion by then, but we could go up as champions on that match. And the, and the ground could be like and this, completely, completely echoing completely around us. empty, yes. OK, well, thank you both for joining us at the county ground right. tonight. And the, the club desperate to get the tickets on sale. And the chief executive here actually saying he's not sure if it's even legal uh, to hold a football match without any fans there. So we'll have to wait and see tomorrow what the news is from Gillingham. OK, Scott, keep us posted. Thank you very much. On to football, Swindon Town are putting tickets on sale for next weekend's game at Gillingham, even though at present fans are still banned. A row over the cost of the policing at Gillingham means the match could be played in an empty stadium. Swindon say they will refund all tickets if the issue isn't resolved by next weekend.